So this is a texture modding tutorial for AEW Fight Forever. First thing you have to do is download our custom launcher, which I linked in the description, cut it to hand lease for that. And then you go in your AEW folder, go to AEW Fight Forever, binaries, win64, you'll see the game there, paste it there. If you try to launch it, the game should launch. And there you go. So that is how you enable mods to work on your game. So now we have to make a mod. So go back to AEW, content, packs, this is where all the game's files are. You'll need U-Model and a special U-Model materials build, which I will include in the video description, and the AES key here. So let's open U-Model override the game to 4.27 which is what the game runs on and then hit OK enter the key okay we're going to do a quick wrestler texture edit mod so game data resources models wrestler data is where you will find everyone so we're just gonna do a quick edit to Adam Page. So texture here you'll find all the textures. So we're gonna look at his tights and then if you want you can go up to here click the M Adam Page asset and you see all his model. Click Control X to export his entire model if you want. But if you just need the texture you're replacing, then you can do that too singularly in the texture folder, export. So now we're going to go into that folder, which is here, O2 Adam Page. And then we have all his textures here in TGA format. So what we have here is the uh, color channel which is the base texture, the normals, which uh, if you're a modder you know what these are, but if you don't they define the height of an object of the texture when light is on it, and then the orms, which are a channel pack texture, they stand for occlusion, roughness, and metal, and I'll show you how to edit that. We're just going to do a quick edit in Photoshop. So now um, got Photoshop open, going to import all three of these in here and all I'm going to do is just draw on its tights just to show you how it all works so just some scribbles of different color and then hit save and that's good normals we're not touching because we didn't add any or remove any height but let's say you're editing as tights and you wanted to get rid of these uh, dots here, you can use something like the clone tool. Never generate normals because they never come out good, especially in a good render engine like this. There are ways to create normals, but for now, we're just doing a quick edit. So we just remove that a bit just to say we edited it. So here we have the occlusion map, which is like how shadows bounce around your model. We have the roughness map, which defines how shiny something is. So the darker it is, the more shiny it will be. As you can see, all these little dots will be highest maximum shine. And then the, this is the metal map, which defines what becomes metallic. The brighter the white, the more metallic it is, as you can see on the uh, belt buckle here. Not gonna edit much there, except I'll just add some more metal to the uh, texture, just for the fun of it, and some more roughness. So now we've got our uh, mod finished, we got to put in the game. So to do that, you actually need Unreal Engine, which is from the Epic Games launcher. You're going to need to download 4.27.2, which is what Unreal Engine, I mean, AW runs on. So just click the here and then it'll be in the drop down. 
and then we're going to launch 4.27. The first time you do it is going to take a while, so just wait a bit. When the epic launcher disappears, that's how you know you're on your way to uh, it loading. So now we got Unreal Engine open, so we're going to press New Project, Games, Blank, make sure no starter content, and then the rest of these are fine, and name your project AEW Fight Forever. Normally, I would not say it. What it matters what you name it, but for me this game has been really finicky and naming it the same as the game has helped me. And then obviously here is where you'll be finding your project, your mods. So make a note of that location, change it if you want, and hit create project. And then it'll load Unreal Engine for you. And then you'll start feeling like a developer. So now we got Unreal Engine up and open. So this part is important. First, click here and you'll see a tree view of your files. That'll help a lot. And then uh, this is part is 100% important or your mod will not work. So go to Project Settings. Go down to Packaging on the side here. T make sure Use Pack File is ticked. Use IO Store is ticked and generate chunks is ticked. Those three are needed. And then go to edit up in the left here, editor preferences, and then go to experimental on the side and hit allow chunk ID assignments. You will need that as well. And now you're all prepped to uh, cook your mod. You just have to import it into the engine. So first off, we have to remake all the folders. So game here, you model export game, that is the same as our content folder. So we do not need to make a folder called game. Game is content. Then we go in here, we have game data, so we'll copy that name, paste it game data, oops, added a plus. Then inside resources. Then inside there, models. wrestler data and then find Adam Page where was he number one and then inside what did we edit only the texture so you only need to import what you edit by the way if you import the whole character all the textures that's meaningless just adds more size to your uh, mods texture and now we import our types so we got all that imported okay now important step in packing your mod the mod is done now we just have to package it so we have to check one sec in the packs folder the game uses 10 so we have to we cannot have our mod in pack 0 to 10 so we have to go right click Oh, well, shift click all of your objects, right click, assign to chunk, and we're just going to choose some random number like 24. And then we're done. Okay, so important thing though texture mods can share pack chunk IDs. So if I make a texture mod and you make a texture mod and they are both on pack chunk 24, it will work. However, model mods do not work in the same pack chunk. So, if I'm making Adam Page model mod, and you do, in 24, they will not work together. However, uh, Peak 6 on Nexus Mods does have a script that searches all your mods and removes the pack chunk conflict. So, we'll get into that later, but if you're a modder, be nice and try to mark the uh, pack chunk you use in your mod. So, here I, ha I have my CM Punk mod, and I wrote 13 because it uses pack chunk 13 and now other modders know if they want to use this CM Punk mod they can't put it they can't put their own model mod in 13 as well so we have it pack chunk 24 done so now we go package change build configuration to shipping and then package oops package project windows 64 bit and now you have your project folder here AW for fight forever so I do saved and then I do packaged and then hit cook 
and then I will go here aw fight forever which is my mod folder saved package it will show up in here the first cook takes forever so I'm gonna pause it but what I mean by that is when you make your mods try to use the same project over and over again just delete the old mod from it because the cook time will be cut way down so I got the notification here that packaging is complete so now I got that Windows No Editor folder in my pa in my package folder. Go in there, AW Fight Forever, just like the game, content, packs, and now you can see Pack Chunk 24 is here. So we can rename that. Z underscore helps to load or order. Um, it loads in alphabetical order, and Z underscore will make it more of a priority to the game than the in-game pack chunks. It's not necessary, but it helps. Um, so I'm just going to name it Adam Page Types, and then what is necessary is adding underscore P to the pack. If you do not do this, the game will not recognize it. P means patch, so the game thinks, oh, this is a patch update, I have to load it. So take that, put it in your mod, mods folder. Well, you don't need the mods folder, but it helps you organize, so packs, mods, with a tilde helps and then just place it in there and launch the game with the custom launcher and then it should show up so let's see if it does So the best way to test it is to go to Modify Wrestler. God bless them for at least having that menu so we can look at things quickly. And then we go to Adam Page. And as you can see our texture mod is working. The shine is a little bit wrong because we didn't put the lines in the right place. But as you can see all our doodle is on him and fully working. So the next step after this is mesh modding, which I'll make another video for. But that's all there is to it. You uh, So to review, export the texture, edit the texture, recreate the folders in Unreal, make sure your project settings are correct, package, you get the pack, rename the pack, put it in your folder. And that's all there is.